FC25 is here, which means it's time for us to get stuck into the best tactics that this game has to offer. Today, we're going to be checking out the 4 triple two, and the reason we're going to be starting with that one is because it's a formation that holds its shape in defence and attack, so it's a nice, simple one to start off with, and it's more about the actual player intel that you use to get the most out of the formation. Let's get into it. Of course, for those of you that are aware, there are now codes that you guys can just input into your game to copy the custom tactics. The code for this tactics is on the screen down below. Now, before you run off and try the tactics, like I say, this formation is heavily reliable on the types of players that you use. So I urge you to stick with me throughout the video so you're not going in with these blind because I think if you do go in with them blind, you're not going to have anywhere near as much success as you will to actually stick this video out and it's only going to be a short video so it's worth sticking this one out so kicking things off with the formation is obviously the four triple two the build-up style is balanced it's just generally a good place to start isn't it you know you've got short passing on this game you've got counter so for me short passing is too slow of a way of playing for this formation and then counter with how kind of there's a like heaviness to the passing in this game, mainly because we're at the start of the game and all the players are lower rated, I think. So that one, I think, might be more effective later in the game cycle. But as for right now, balance, I think, is the way to go. For the defensive approach, I think the high line is still really effective like it was last year. I am running this on 90. Effectively, as high as I can put this line before you go to aggressive and it ups it to 95. So as you can see here, you go up and up and up. The moment you get to 91, it goes to aggressive. So we just keep it as high as possible without switching into that aggressive style. This just makes it really hard for the opponent to actually get out of their own half. You put like a really suffocating press on them. And with how slow the passing is in this game, it's really, really hard to play out of that press. Getting into the player roles. Now, as you guys will know this year, you've got player roles for without the ball and with the ball. Now, what, what makes things a lot easier for this one is that the instructions are exactly the same on both. And that is purely because the 4 triple two holds its shape throughout. And I think that is the best way to use the formation. So we don't need to go over both sides with this. We can just go through it once and just it will be the same on both. So the strikers are both advanced forward and complete. Now, obviously, this year with player roles, it's always in your best interest to have players that have the plus and the plus plus on those player roles if you guys want me to do a video breaking that down in more depth let me know i'm not sure to what level of understanding people have with the role role plus and role plus plus so if you want a video on that let me know down below but effectively the more of a plus or a plus plus role you can get a player in a certain position doing a certain thing the better they're going to be at it now obviously i have martinez here that he's just standard advanced forward, but he's such a good player and the best card in my team that he does an absolutely fantastic job. Advanced forward is a really, really nice balance, I think, on the attack because they're not constantly making runs, but they're not constantly dropping short either. False nine is like they're always dropping short. Poacher is like they're always running. Advanced forward is kind of like the best of both worlds. The reason we have the focus on complete is it means they won't just make runs centrally. If there's space out wide or your person on the flank needs support, they will come out and do that. I just think advanced forward with the complete focus just gives you kind of the best of everything before we move into the cams one thing i will say on the strikers is i recommend still like last year having an aerial threat the amount of knockdowns i'm getting with this Turan card is absolutely crazy and i'm actually scoring a lot of headers as well so if you can actually get someone with just the standard aerial play style with a good height like 6-3 plus i think there's a really really strong place for that in this game and then obviously pair them with someone like a martinez that is more capable on the ball so you have just so you haven't got too much stiffness up front getting into our wide cams now i have these on the half winger because all these other instructions make them play too centrally and then your formation lacks width so half winger is absolutely the way to go for the four triple two. I have the balance on focus. Sorry, I have the balance on focus. <laughs> I have the focus on balanced just because when it's on attack, you're just getting no defensive stability on the flanks other than your full backs, which is just not really good enough. You want that defensive stability in a four triple two because it's one of the strengths of the formation. So having this on attack to me is counterintuitive. It just doesn't serve what the formation's good at. So absolutely run with balance for the focus it's the same on both sides this formation works very symmetrically you don't really make overloads more on one side than the other this formation is all about keeping its shape and just being hard to break down getting into the central defensive midfielders now this is an interesting one because what works isn't what i expected so as we get into these you've got deep line playmate maker center half holding now holding they sit too deep 
centre half, they sit way too deep. So deep lying playmaker is the one where they're still sat deep, but they're not too deep to the point where you've got no midfield presence. Now the focus I have on roaming for both, and now the reason for that is like us, like what I was saying with the other roles. When you have this on defend, when you lose the ball, they're just sat so deep in the midfield, and it does work. But I like to have my centre mids present and pressing the opponent as soon as possession turns over. I don't like letting them advance 30 yards before my midfield kind of meets them in the middle. So roaming on both purely just to keep the centre mids a little bit more present. They don't actually push up too high even on roaming. It's just it's more about the fact that when they're on anything else they just sit too deep. In terms of the kinds of players you want here it's absolutely vital. Both of your CDMs either have incisive pass or or long ball pass just so when they do a chip through ball it has that accuracy that you need this formation doesn't work without having two cannons sitting back that can send that ball forward if your two cdms in this setup don't have one of those two play styles you're not going to have success in this formation just touching back on the cams because i didn't mention what sort of players you want there just make sure they either have a lot of pace or they have the likes of the rapid play style just something to give them a lot of pace because Often it is those players that you are sending through with the CDMs that you are sending the ball forward with. Getting into our right back and left back, they are both on full back. And then the focus is on balanced, not defend. Full back is because in a 4 2 it's all about that defensive stability and holding your shape. You don't want them venturing forward too much. However, the focus on balance, I love this sheer. Full back with balanced, you have them there back. They are disciplined and they are defenders, but... The amount they push forward is like perfect. When you're on the ball, they push forward just to the point enough that if you want to bring them in the attack, you can. And if you don't want to, they're not overcommitted. It's a really, really nice combination. And I think in pretty much all the fullbacks that I use this year, unless I'm trying something very specific, I think fullback balance is really going to be my go-to. At this stage of the game, where we've all got lower rated players, I wouldn't worry too much about getting fullback plus or fullback plus plus on your right back and left back because most of them are slow i would just focus on getting the best fast right back and left back that you can and don't worry too much about the roll plus and roll plus plus on those getting into our center backs they are on defender and defend we just want our center backs sitting deep being our sort of last point of defense before the goalkeeper and i don't see any need to push the lineup any further when we're running 90 depth so they're going to be very present anyway to press and such like that. You don't need to emphasize that anymore in the focus. You maybe could resort to the likes of a balanced and that kind of a thing if you weren't using as high of a line as we are in these tactics. But because we're pressing so much, it's just not necessary to commit the defenders anymore. So, so defender, defend, keep them back. Goalkeeper-wise, I genuinely think you can go with whatever you like here. I just like my goalkeeper to stay back and only come out when I bring him out. I don't like too much AI interference with my goalkeeper. So, honestly, with your goalkeeper, just go with whatever you prefer. That is everything from me today, guys. Kicking off FC25 with a bang. Getting back into what we enjoy most on this channel, which is, of course, custom tactics. We obviously will have way more involved tactics to come, but I think when it comes to learning a new game, it's always nice to start off with a formation that is old but gold, an old reliable, something that we're very familiar with and we know how it works and it isn't too involved. It just gives you a really nice sort of base to start and learn this game with. I haven't even lost a game on this game yet. Fingers crossed we can keep that going, but this formation has been serving me really, really well and I've literally been toying around with it for days and days and then just to try and get it as fine-tuned as possible so i'm really really confident in these custom tactics but just be sure you do choose players with the correct play styles and roles that i referred to earlier in the video to get the most out of the formation because with the nature of how this formation works you don't get it at its optimal form with if you just skimp on those things but as always guys if you did make it this far in the video i really appreciate your time if you did enjoy it Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn your bell on. Take care, guys.